your body so that I get to hear what you all right I'll, I'll let him I'll let him warm up okay <laughs> I did last time okay, Bobby. all right Hold on. okay but you better be good <laughs> Get them bread right, Bobby, you're ready. <clears throat> Look at you. All right. Oh. Three, two, one. We're on. Well, sitting here with Melinda and with Mr. T, and now, Mr. T, I know where Liberace gets all his gear. From mm. you. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I copy from him and Sammy. You know, all my life I said, one of these days I want to have these things. So I'm just living out a lifelong dream and enjoying it. You see, in this day and time, most of us are afraid to wear just a plain little gold chain, afraid we're going to be ripped off. Well, but you don't have to worry. Well, I don't worry because, you know, I believe in God. Yeah, that's why I don't worry about nothing, not because of my size. See, my God that I serve say that he will protect me. See, it'd be, it'd be out of order if the same God that allowed me to have this here to let someone come along and take it. See, I really believe in God. That's why I'm successful. Well, Mr. T, I do too, but I <clears throat> wouldn't walk across the street with all that on <laughs> because I'm only five feet two. <laughs> anyway, uh, it, it's great to see you. Melinda, uh, I, I see that you have, what is that, sable? Yes. You had to do that to compete with Mr. T? Yes, I did. I, I did. It was very well thought out this morning. I know. I'm sorry, T. I hate to say it, but it's true. It's true. It's true. And it's old, and it's my mom, so I didn't go out and get it done. <laughs> <It's old. laughs> I was feeling about that. I was feeling very guilty, and I thought, oh. I'm not sure that that's such a good thing, but it's, you know, it's very old. So it's not that I would go out and get a new sable. It's an old sable. All right. Um, Did you buy that? <coughs> the A-Team, you and Mr. T are part of the A-Team, and you're the only woman on the A-Team. Yes. Well, I actually hire the A-Team at the very beginning, um, the first show. These four guys have been together, four guys that are on the A-Team. I'm kind of a surrogate member. I'm not sure that I'm completely initiated yet into the show. Um, I hire these guys who were together in Vietnam um, to find someone, a friend of mine and a fellow worker who has disappeared. And then after that, we start working together. I, I'm a newspaper journalist, so I go in for the stories and I help them out a little bit. But it's more the four guys who are the A-team and I'm, I'm trying to squeeze in. I'm working very hard at, at fitting in with the four guys. Many of the stories, though, uh, apparently it's a kind of soldiers of fortune type thing, mm -hmm. and uh, we're going to see you, I would assume, in peril and in jeopardy and that sort of thing. You personally, Melinda, do you have the spirit of adventure that would allow you to do some of these things for real? Yes. Um, oh, I mean, what's. Well, first of all, like the first story, there's a lot of it that involves with um, just com human compassion because the people that we are always going and saving are, are being dealt with dishonestly and unfairly. And that's the reason I really like the A-Team, because although I'm a newspaper journalist and I get to write articles about things that I care about and political viewpoints, these guys really get it done. They go out and they really and truly save people. And so I get to be a part of that. And I'm very much that way. And, I mean, a lot of it's just caring about other human beings. And the adventure and the energy I'm also a part of because I grew up being a tomboy. I mean, I had three brothers, so I mean, a lot of the running around and the handling things is very realistic for me. Yeah. So you're perfectly comfortable then on a set where you're the only woman. Yes, it's very nice. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, in a lot of ways, yeah. I like it a lot. They treat yeah. you like a little sister or how? It's always different. Yeah, sometimes I'm a buddy, and then sometimes, yes, yeah, sometimes they spoil me, you know, as being the woman, and that's nice too. I get to, I think I get to be a little bit of everything, you know, to all of them, and that's great. Mainly because I get tons of attention, you know, from everyone. Do you like the idea, Melinda, that um, you've done other roles and mm -hmm. and uh, you've had other recognition? But do you like the idea that uh, a series now could possibly make you a household word? Um, I try not to think about it too much. Um, yes, I mean, if I believe that it's a, if it's a television character and something on TV that I think uh, will represent uh, a good thing, then yeah, I guess it doesn't, I, I can't think about it. I can't think about it. It's not, that's not real to me to think about that I might be a household world. But it doesn't terrify me. I'm just not sure. I mean, until I'm walking around and people know who I am, you know, I guess I'll have to wait and see how I feel about that. Mr. T, you, you can relate to this thing I'm talking with her about because uh, after Rocky III, suddenly you had uh, lost your anonymity, right? Well, yes, I guess you can say that, you know, because ain't too many people walk around and look like me, you know, so, but I like being different, you know, I 
like being head and shoulders above everybody else, you know. Uh, I just try to do the best I can and just be my own individual self. But you're going mm. to look like this in the series. Right? Oh yeah, definitely. You know, this is uh, <laughs> what I am. Is what you see is what you get. You know, my jewelry. <laughs> this is all of me. Even in the series, I wear my jewelry because you know, this is me. Only the stuff I couldn't wear in Rocky, even though I had it. But because the character I was playing had to be a hungry character, but the character I play in the A team is is me. It's called B A Baracus. The B A stand for bad attitude. You know, I'm just a <laughs> sort of a sullen individual loner type of guy. You know, I don't really that much like too many people. You know, but I get the job done. And I don't sort of like a no nonsense type of guy. I'm strict. I'm sometimes sort of hard on her because she's a woman. She's joining not not really because she's a woman, but because she want to come into the A team. You know, it just don't come in like that. You know, and then some of the A team members, I'll be on them sometimes. That's my character. You know, got one character, Dwight Schultz. He play a crazy guy and. I don't like him. I said, man, this guy's crazy, you know. Mm -hmm. and then of uh, George Rippard, who's Hannibal, is the leader, and sometimes he make mistake. I'll be on him. So if you've got a job to do, we do it, you know. And that's the type of character I am. You went to Prairie View A and M, didn't you? In yes, Houston. and they kicked me out. Oh no, did they? Yes, they did. 1971, they kicked me out. Why? I don't know, but who's left now? Yes, you now? know. You know. <laughs> Why did they kick you? No, you see, they, they had a riot down there, and I was the president of the freshman class, and I was an honor roll student also, which, you know, it didn't, everything was just totally mm -hmm. out of balance for what they said. A football player was, and they just said it's supposed to be dumb and all that stuff, you know. I was elected the class president. I was very intelligent. So, and I was outspoken, I've always been outspoken, and they had a riot, and I told them what I felt, and they spec guys, so they just have a title, don't, don't say nothing. I've never been that type of character. So we had a meeting and whatnot, and all the people that spoke out was wound up being the people that got suspended. I mean, I was going to the meeting, people said, when you go there, man, don't go, man, because uh, they'll take your name out and this and that, they kick you out. And actually, exactly what they've done, but it didn't bother me because I'm my own man. I got to be free, you know, and I'm free. So they kicked me out, but like I said, it was they lost in my game. You know, now that I was kicked out, they called me back a couple of years ago, talking about they want to give me an honorary degree. I said, if I didn't earn it, don't give it to me. You told me that I would never be anything, you know, but I'm the type of guy, when people say I can't, I say I can. I like coming back and making fools out of people. They told me to say, you can't act, you can't this. When I told them, I, when Sylvester Stallone called me about the part in Rocket, they said, hey man, I want to put you in the movie. And I went out and told the people I thought was my friend, they said, man, you can't do this here. Instead of saying, hey, can I help you rehearse your lines or something, you know. See, misery love company and success breeds hatred. So people didn't want to see me get ahead because, you know, they want to keep me down in the bottom of the barrel. But so when they said I couldn't act, I said, okay. So I don't have to say nothing. The movie is, is doing it for me. So when they see me walking down the street, they blow their head, you know. <laughs> so the same thing people do in prayer view. They say, this guy will never be anything, you know. Here I am about to, I'll be going to speak at Harvard University. Me, they want me to speak there, Harvard, in front of thousands of people. What will you speak about? I would speak about God because I'm a very religious man. <clears throat> I would speak where I come from. I'm a product of a broken home. My mother raised 12 children by herself. My father left. I got seven brothers and four sisters. So I would speak about what it takes to make it. And that's what I like about the A-Team, the series. Uh, it involves me working with kids sometimes because that's what I do in real life. I try to project a positive image to let them know no matter where you come from, you still can make it, whether you're poor white, poor black, or whatever. And that's to care. That's why people can relate to me because I'm a free-spirited type of guy. You know, first people want to see me. As you seen this guy, Mr. T, with the hairstyle, the earrings, all they go. First they want to take a look at this guy. They can't believe him. Then when they see me, then they hear me. So wow, he's heavy. So most people figure me to come on and say, I'm bad, I'm tough, I'll fight anybody. You set him up, I don't come that way. First, I'm always grateful to God. Then I'll talk about my religious upbringing, my family upbringing, and my education, and my intellect, which shocks everybody, because they don't expect that. So I can quote Dante, John Doan, Socrates, Euripides, and Aristophanes, Peter, Paul, Bartholomew, Luke, and John, and they can't deal with that. And that's the type of guy, and that's where my strength comes from, my belief in God. Amen. And I try You're to, a terrific I try to spread guy. it around. You're terrific. You're terrific. Thank you. Melinda, have you heard him go on like this before? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> do you, do you have discussions with him about things like that? Sure. I think one of the best times we had, we went and shot in um, Acapulco when we were shooting the first show. And T and I flew back together. So we had a few hours to spend talking, which I think was really the first time you and I got to know each other. Other than one night we went out dancing. 
which was terrific because he's a great dancer. Um, yeah, so of course we talk about that, and it, because a lot of it comes up in the in the stories. I mean, the, even though it's an adventure story, the A Team, and it has humor in it, and it's nice. There are a lot of very serious things that we're you know that, that we all care about, and that we care about people. So when the scripts are that way, you end up talking about your beliefs in life. So well, I'll tell you, I can't wait to see it, especially after meeting the two of you. If if ever, if all this comes across on screen, you got a hit. Great. Thank you, Melinda. Thank, Thank you. you, Mr. T. Thank you. Great to talk with you both. Thank you. Super energy. Mr. T. Okay. This is the center shot. Okay, you have to speak. Go ahead. T. Yo. Shh. Join George Papard, Mr. T, and me, Melinda Kalea, for an unforgettable hour of fast paced adventure. The A Team, Tuesdays at 7. Okay. Join George Papard, Mr. T, and me, Melinda Kalea, for an unforgettable hour of fast-paced adventure. The A Team tonight at seven. The A Team Tuesday at seven on five. Let's do that one again. Drop the five. The A Team Tuesday at seven on five. That was totally negligible. That <laughs> on five. Okay. The A Team tonight at seven on five. Bring that on. Let's put a little more emphasis okay. on the five. Yes. <laughs> yes, Melinda. Remember, I, I'm sorry. It was a joke. <laughs> the A team, tonight at seven on five. Okay. Is that it? That's it. KT, I'm going to mumble. First 10. All right. I'm Mr. T. I'm on the A team. You better be watching tonight. All right. Was that first one good? Well, or we gonna do it over? Oh, you just show me the reading, right, or what? You better be watching. I'm Mr. T. I'm on the A team. You better be watching tonight at channel. No. I'm Mr. T. I'm on the A team. You better be watching tonight at seven, right here on channel five, or else. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. Right. I'm Mr. T. I'm on the A team. You better be watching tonight at 7, right here on Channel 5, or else. Okay. I'm Mr. T. I'm on the A team. You better be watching tonight at 7, right here on Channel 5. Or else. All right. All right. I'm Mr. T. See this? One, two, three. Do I count? Yeah, we count. One, two, three, four, five. Good reason. I'm Mr. T. See this? One, two, three, four, five. Good reason to watch the A team tonight. Tuesday night at 7 on Channel 5, right? Right. <clears throat> Excuse me. That's okay. I can, I can, I'm ready to roll. I'm Mr. T. See this? One, two, three, four, five. Good reason to watch the A-Team tonight, Tuesday, at 7 on Channel 5, right? I missed it. I'm Mr. T. See this? One, two, three, four, five. Good reasons to watch the A-Team Tuesday nights at 7 on Channel 5, right? Okay. 
I'm Mr. T. See this? One, two, three, four, five. Good reason to watch the A-Team Tuesday night at 7 on Channel 5, right? Okay. All right. The A-Team Tuesday night at 7 on 5. The 18, Tuesday night at 7 on 5. The 18, tonight at 7 on 5. The 18 is coming to Channel 5. The 18 begins February the 1st. You're watching Channel 5. Got it? Channel 5 Action News. Okay.